Here's my Blu-ray collection, guys. And as you can see, I have quite a bit of Blu-rays. And for those who've seen my recent Blu-ray update from Star for Star Wars, you'd know that the prequel trilogy is my re most recent Blu-ray. But enough of that crap, let's get to it. The, starting with Die Hard. And I've seen many clips and things from the film, and I really enjoyed the film. And, yeah, this is actually a re-release of the original Blu-ray from 2007, so... Yeah, and it comes in a really nice slipcover case. Well, here's the actual case itself. And yeah, here's the disc. Really cool artwork on it. And yeah. I got this in 2014, and it's one of the first Blu-rays I ever got. Next, the Indiana Jones The Complete Adventures Collection. And yeah, you basically get all four Indiana Jones films in one Blu-ray box. Yeah, here's the back of it, the book case, without this little slip. Yeah, the this book is pretty much the same as, you know, the slipcover. So the discs are in the pages, and I'm only going to show you what only one of these discs looks like because. The rest of them are pretty much plain and the same looking. Except for the titles and things and yeah, no artwork. But there's a disc. Well this design for all four four discs, including the fifth bonus disc. So what you saw was the Blu-ray for Raiders of the Lost Ark. The Temple of Doom. The Last Crusade, and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, and the bonus features, and yeah. And next, Star Wars. Original trilogy, Blu ray set. And you already might have seen what the discs look like in my Star Wars merchandise collection. But for those who didn't see them, I will show you. Yeah, the case is pretty much the same as the subcover. And the first Blu ray is the same. Let's see, there's. That little slip insert. So, disc one is the Blu ray for episode four. Disc two is episode five's Blu ray. Discs, disc three is episode six. And three DVDs one for the fourth episode, one for five, and the last for six.
Next is my biggest Blu-ray set. Harry Potter. Hogwarts Collection. 31 discs for combinations of DVDs and Blu-rays in the Ultra Digital Violet Ultraviolet Digital Copy Code thing. Yeah, this set is really big and the book that the discs come in is really, really big and heavy. It's utterly massive. Uh, yeah, there's a little code if you're wondering. And yeah. here's all the discs for Harry Potter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven and eight, and the bonus disc. Yeah, it'll be a challenge to get the this book back in its original slip. So I'll put it in. Let me put it in very carefully. Yeah, that's it for that one. Next is a Blu-ray that I bought but didn't watch once yet. The Twilight Saga, The Breaking Dawn Part 2. Yeah, rarely used. I personally don't care about the Twilight films, but... You know, to me this is okay. But the, So the first part, and I thought it was okay, but... Right now, I personally don't care for the Twilight films at all, but I only got this just for my collection. So you have a disc, and it's got art on it too. And it has a nice shiny slip cover, nice and holographic. And finally, my prequel trilogy Star Wars DVD and Blu-ray set to go with my original trilogy set. And so I can be prepared for the next trilogy of films, starting with Episode 7, which is coming out this holiday season. So here's the actual case, and you know, it's... Yeah, you'll notice there's a little hole there. It's kind of the way it came, unfortunately. Here's the little insert. And the discs. The Blu-rays for episode 1, 2, and 3. Or the first three discs. And the last three are the DVDs of episodes 1, two, and three. And yeah, that, that about does it for my Blu-ray collection. I want to thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time with more collection videos. See you soon.